Hello, and welcome to another edition of Sports Card ASMR. I'm the Sports Card Doctor, and boy, am I excited that you're here today. In fact, I almost want to say, boy, howdy, am I excited. But then I sound like a newsie from 1921. Ruth and the Yankees to take on the Giants. Buy it right here. Five five cent. Five cent. Is that what they said? Five cent. I don't know. Anyways, all I'm saying is I am very excited that you're here. This is the channel that combines sports card nostalgia with ASMR relaxation. If you like those two things together, you've come to the right spot. If you're new here, or maybe one of those wonderful lurker viewers, consider subscribing to the channel. Hit the link or just take that reminder, go down there, and subscribe. We're glad that you're here. Today is one of our pricing videos. This is where we take a Beckett baseball card monthly from the past, take a pack of sports cards also from the past. Today will be baseball cards. One day I'll do a football pricing. And we see if we can make our money back. It's full of excitement, full of tension, and above all, full of relaxation. All right, what magazine are we going to be using today? What Beckett Baseball Card Monthly is in our possession? That is right. We are going back to August of 1990. Number uh, 65 in the Beckett series here. Priced $2.50. And you'll note, no Canadian price, which would be on later editions. So, you Canucks, back in August of 1990, you did not know what your cards were worth. Ryan Sandberg is on the cover. I know he's been uh, very public with some recent health problems, so we're sending all the healing and love that we can to Ryan Sandberg, one of my favorite players from this era. The back cover is, look at that, Generations of Heat, a very thin and svelte Roger Clemens, and Nolan Ryan, looking, you know, like the older statesman, such an old guy. I think I'm now six or seven years older than he was in this photo. But anyways, let's take a look at what this magazine has to offer, then we'll pick a pack and price it. This was the announcement of Leaf coming back big. I really liked these cards. Leaf returning, that had been gone since 1948. All right. Let's make it a Nolan Ryan. Ryan Sandberg there. The arrival of Sandy Alomar Jr. Finally made the bigs. The Alomar brothers are there. So we're going to be opening a pack that 
fits into that time frame. Don't want to take uh, you know, the attention there. Well, look at this. Were you at the LeBaron Hotel on August 19, 1990, in San Jose to get an autograph from John Burkett? Let us know in the comments below. One of these days, someone's going to be like, yeah, I was there. Future Hall of Famer Paul Molitor. Sack Sport Card Warehouse? Let us know. Get your VH VHS tapes right there. Look at that. And a little profile on Rapid Fire Bob Teller there. And then the ultimate piece of art there, Jose Canseco. Love to get my hands on some of those old, old ones there. I don't have all. Oh, I have a few of those actually, but not all of them. Okay, that's the Beckett we're going to be using. What are we going to be pricing? We're going to be going to our box of cards provided to us by John at the Past is Alive. Check out John's channel. He's a big. Uh, sports card ASMR friend and we always appreciate when he sends a box of goodies out if you'd like to send a box of goodies like uh, John or our friend Eric who did uh, last time out with the football cards who also sent us the penny sleeves for ASMR we'll see if we can put a card in one of those uh, penny sleeves today uh, the address is down below go through our options here today. So like I said, we are limited to August 1990. So we're definitely not going to be pricing the 2023 tops. We're saving this from our buddy Troy. Uh, the Olympic cards, we're going to open those during the Olympics. Just makes promotional sense. It's 87 tops, 91 tops, and 91 studio. Out of the question today. tops here, but it is an option. Some of those leaf, 1992 edition. We'll return to that some other day, just as we will with the uh, upper deck, 1991 upper deck. Diamond Destiny, Upper Deck Tech. I do not even know 
what these really are or look like. Can't wait to get to those. It's Mandy Wano Peachy. You Canadians only got seven cards in your packs, huh? Baseball premiere. It's a 91 Flare Ultra. 84 tops. That's going to be an option for sure. And then, of course, the 89 Flare. Uh, we are going to save this when we reach a milestone. Uh, if we can get to 750 subscribers, we'll open up this 89 Flare to see if we can get the Billy Ripken card and, you know, uh, be rich as you would be in 1989 when you open that up. All right. Backpacks are tempting here. Seven tops. But you know what? Like I said, we've opened up a lot on the channel. Another day. 88 flare. 84 tops. We know we got a Steve Yeager in here. And we know we got a Mike Easley. 88 flare. Maybe you get an early McGuire. An early Kinsenko. Mm. You know what? Let's do it. I've been wanting to open up an older pack here. We usually stick in the 87 to 92 range here. I love the idea of going back. Oh. around. All right, here we go. I'm excited to get into this pack of 84 tops. Like I, don't need, like, like I said last time out, it's almost like a homemade pack, like someone made this at a garage sale here. Just got one of those like sealers at a craft store. Now, what can we get in here? Don Mattingly, Daryl Strawberry, Ryan Sandberg, early Ryan Sandberg cards possible. There's a lot of good options in here. Let's see what we got. I'm actually kind of nervous. Having a little trouble getting in there. Steve Yeager. Ooh, an interesting thing about Steve Yeager is, as you can see there, he uh, he looked like a baseball card shop owner from the 1980s. Fantastic look, Steve Yeager. All right. Kentrome. That's not the valuable card we wanted. Pedro Guerrero. Interesting there. Dave Schmidt. Frank Tanana. Rangers days. Future Cy Young Award winner Steve Petrosian, Greg Bargar, Legend Chris Chambliss there, Bill Stein. Bill Stein looks like he's confused as to why he's on a Major League Baseball card. Pat Sheridan, up and comer at the time then. Mike Moore, Alan Ashby. Dan Dreesen. Used to love Dan Dreesen's glove. 
Jerry Dubinsky, Tommy Lasorda, Larry McWilliams, Gary Reedus, and Mike Eisler. Well, we didn't exactly strike uh, pay dirt with a Don Mattingly or a Daryl Strawberry or Dwight Gooden or anything like that. I don't know if the Gooden would be available in this one. But we did get some interesting cards here. As I said, we are going to try to price about five to six to maybe seven cards might be needed to see if we can get our price back. Now, as we always do here, uh, we, we set a price for our pack of cards, and we usually set that at a dollar. But I think, I'm contemplating, that we lower this price to 75 cents. It's a pack of 1984 tops. Now, in 1990, it might have cost you more to get it because a card shop owner wanted you to pay more for a pack of 84 tops to try to get the Don Mattingly rookie that he'd probably already taken out of the pack. Different problem. But we're going to go 75 cents. Old allowance prices, okay? So let's see what cards we can choose. Mike Eisler, probably a common, but i got to tell you, he's in the running here. He's a good player. I think manager cards are worth a lot. Tommy is a legend. Yeah, this ain't a great pack for pricing. All right. Steve Yeager. I think that's going to be a common. Pedro Guerrero. He was an up-and-comer here. He'd been around since the... Uh, Late 70s, of course, but uh, by this point was a superstar. 32 home runs, 100 RBIs in 1982. Great season in the strike-shortened 81 season, a world championship season for them. In 83, wow, 32 home runs, 100 the RBIs. Yeah, we're pricing him for sure. Sorry, Ken Schraub, not pricing you. Frank Tanana is a possibility, uh, but by this point he was uh, kind of on a comeback. By the time he ends up with, what, the uh, Tigers is when he was um, considered a, a back from the injuries that derailed his career. But it's possible that we price him and get a couple cents here. I'm going to price Steve Bedrosian. Again, this is a 1984 Topps card that we're going to be pricing in 1990. He was coming off a Cy Young kind of season there in 1988, so could be worth some. Price Chris Chambliss, uh, out of respect for my Yankee great. Mike Moore, believe it or not, was kind of an open cover there. Gary Ward, Teresa. What the hell? Okay. I'm going to keep uh, Reedus. He's an open cover at the time here. But again, we're looking at 1990 prices. Mike Eisler, probably going to be a common, but you know what? I like Mike Eisler. He was a great hitter, underrated for this era. Double check here. The 84 tops, the design, pretty simple. Kind of dated, but I think it stands out as one of the best. All right. Here we go. Not looking hopeful here in terms of getting our money back, but... This is why we do this. Okay. Clipboard is ready. Magnifying glass just in case. And new addition. Penny slaves. We're gonna put some of our valuable cards in here. Thanks again to Eric for sending these out. Okay. Let's get to it. 1984 tops.
golden era of card collecting. The arrival of uh, Flair and Donruss had expanded it. And I think Tops, though, was still enjoying their dominance. The top, but dominance that would soon be challenged and eventually removed. Here it is, 1984 Tops. $105 during this time. Common player, five cents. All right, let's do this. My hope here is that Frank Tanana, card number 479, that there's a six or seven cent value we can get from this former Anaheim uh, or California Angels Ace, I should say. 479. And it is a common player, common player right there, okay. Five cents for Frank Tanana. We're going Mike Easler, 5.89. He's gonna be a common, but I've always liked Mike Easler. I don't know why, 5.89. Yep, Colin. Mike Easler. There you go. All right. Big year for the Pirates in 1980. Yeah, there we go. All right. Manager cards are not worth a lot, but the Tommy Lasorda. Come on. Come on, Tommy Lasorda. Card number 681 in the set. And of course it's a common, but look. It's Tommy Lasagna, you know what I mean? All right. Now I chose Mike Moore. He was a prospect at this time and just started coming up with the Mariners. So there were some high hopes for him. Again, this is a 1990 price, so his uh, success might have uh, lowered the card. 547. There he is, Mike Moore. 25 cents. Ooh, I got so excited there. I threw the clipboard. I apologize. Big, big clutch price right there. We're up to 40 cents. Chris Chambliss, this card probably not worth a ton, but he was a great player in his day in my Yankees. And a common indeed, but that's okay. Chris Chambliss, Cleveland to New York, hit that home run. That sent the Yankees back to the World Series in 1976. All right, Steve Bedrosian. Bedrock Bedrosian, 365. You forget that he came up with Atlanta, but he would win a Cy Young Award as the closer of the Phillies in uh, 1988, I do believe, right? Mark Davis won the Cy Young Award in 89, so yeah. There you go, 365. Bedrosian's there, 15 cents. All right, that's good. That's good, we're looking good. card, but we might go back for an emergency card here, and we have that right. Uh, we got 25, we got 45, 50, 60 cents is Pedro Guerrero, one of the National League's premier hitters in 1984, but by 1990, he was kind of wrapping up his career with the Cardinals. What is the value of Pedro Guerrero right now? Card number 90 in the set. 90. There we go. All right. The dogs are barking. They're excited. Wow. 
40 cents. 40. We did it. We did it. We would have even passed a dollar. That's amazing. Look at that. We're at a dollar, and I tell you what, I saw this. I'm cheating a little bit here. sort of, but I got the chance to be around Tommy in the mid-2000s in Dodger Stadium. Jovial guy when he wanted to be. Unless you were Dave Kingman, then Tommy Lasorda was not jovial for you. Or anyone. There we go. Preserved forever. Exciting pack of 1984 tops. We've done it. We've priced it. We've become rich. Thank you, John of the Past is Alive. And thank you, Pedro Guerrero. I love making money. Even when it's fake. Thanks for listening to the Sports Card Doctor. Here on Sports Card ASMR.